everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome my name is Lena all right so today I want to talk about some information that I recently came across that coincides with the mystical experiences that I have had um, not all of them but as far as like hearing uh, hearing bells uh, past life regret what I understand from past life regression karmic debt etc so I was watching a show on Gaia uh, titled beyond belief and this particular episode was titled clearing karmic debt now for those of you guys who follow my channel especially my videos on mystical experiences visions etc you know that quite often I hear the sound of bells. I wake up to the sound of bells, doorbells, ringing bells. Uh, there've been a, a variation. A lot of times it's been doorbells, but I have heard like just doorbells. And recently, within the past few months, I've realized that I'm clairaudient. So I hear a lot of tones and sounds um, and not very often while I'm awake now, but uh, I have heard bells a few times in the waking state, and it's always in my left ear. I'm starting to hear some sounds on my right side, but it's not as prevalent as the left, and it's really only if I turn my head like in certain directions or at a certain speed, like if I happen to turn my head quick or whatever. Um, and then those tones start to come in. So the causal plane. All right, what I have recently found out, apparently there are different planes within each dimension. And I'm not an expert on dimensions. I really have only heard about uh, planes within dimensions a couple of times. All right, so the causal plane apparently is a fifth dimensional plane which holds the Akashic Records. So the Akashic Records is really just the book of life as, um, as told in the Bible. And it holds our um, the information on our previous incarnations, uh, basically all that we've ever uh, done, everything within our DNA, etc., is in the Akashic Records or the book of life. All right, so the causal plane, which is on the fifth dimensional, in the fifth dimensional, or in the fifth dimension, if I could talk today, um, holds the Akashic record to the Book of Life and is characterized by the sound of bells. And this is why it resonated with me because I so often hear the sound of bells uh, when I'm dreaming or as I'm waking, uh, a lot of times those sounds, I'll hear them in the dream and they will cause me to awake, especially the sounds of doorbells. So apparently while I am hearing these bells, I'm in the causal plane or in the causal body. So the causal plane is really the smallest of all the planes. Uh, I sh and I should have written down all the planes, but I didn't. Uh, apparently, there's the astral plane, there's the, the etheric plane, etc. But anyway, uh, the causal plane is the smallest of the planes, which holds our Akashic records. So apparently, when I'm in this, uh, this state while I'm sleeping or as I'm waking and hearing these bells, I'm in my causal body in the fifth dimension, and it's where I'm able to access my Akashic records, which makes sense when it comes to like the dreams and stuff that I've had and um, remembering certain things, right? So anyway, the causal body is between the physical body and the astral body. I don't, I have never attempted to astral project I believe now I have probably been in my astral body that I know of maybe once or twice. I can't say for sure, but 
I have been in my causal body apparently quite a bit. And it makes perfect sense because in meditation, I've been able to go through, uh, uh, go through like past life regression. I've been shown some of my past lives. And I bet now if I were to go back and look at some of my dreams and stuff, I may be able to make a correlation. I don't know 100%, but there, there's definitely there's a definite relation there. Like it's interesting to start to be able to put the pieces of the puzzle together now. Um, and another thing I wanted to mention, this doesn't have to do with the planes, but the sixth dimension apparently is where we choose our next life. And this actually coincides with what <coughs> my higher self slash my guides told me uh, in meditation, actually in more than one meditation, regarding the fact that uh, I was, my I'm an old soul, right? So uh, I was a ninth, a ninth dimensional being, like my soul, I'm a ninth dimensional being, who descended to the sixth dimension in the sixth dimension, uh, my soul split. So I had an I had a soul agreement. My soul split, and this has to do with uh, a um, like a soul uh, a soul agreement to experience certain things here on Earth. So in the sixth dimension, as a Lemurian goddess. Uh, working with uh, energy, the energy, I believe, of the throat chakra now, I believe, the throat chakra and possibly the third eye. Uh, I don't know that, I mean, the color of the energy is blue with a white center, um, but it's also, I've seen magenta, or uh, like the, what is it, magenta, the color of the third eye, what is it? Purple? Purple. So anyway, I'm still trying to figure out, or not trying to figure it out. I'm just like, as the information comes, it comes. But anyway, so in the sixth dimension, I had this soul agreement to incarnate here on earth to awaken and uh, to have certain soul agreements, right? So, so that I could as awaken and ascend in this lifetime. I know for those of you guys who followed my channel for a long time, and I've primarily talked about Neville's teachings, um, and then got into the mystical dreams and experiences, etc. And now things are evolving for me. And I know that some of this stuff might sound kind of out there, but you know what? You really only know by experience, and I'm just sharing my experiences just like Neville did, really. Um, so, the causal plane, the fifth dimension, the sixth dimension, what I've now learned about my soul agreements, my purpose here at this time, etc. It all is making sense. The pieces are, are all starting to fit together, which is, I find quite interesting. So anyway, thought I would share that with you guys. And um, yeah, it's getting very, very interesting. I'm about to record another video. Uh, I have to uh, run an errand today. It's getting close to Christmas. But I had an experience last night. Uh, I think this video is going to go out. It's December 17th. I think this video is going to go out tomorrow, possibly. And then I'm going to record... I'm about to record an experience I had last night, which I think will go out the last weekend in December. So by the time you see it, it'll have been a couple weeks, but interesting. But anyway, all right. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, don't forget, if you want, check out my Mystical Dreams and Experiences playlist. You will definitely see an evolution in the things that I'm experiencing 
and I haven't even completely shared all of the stuff I've experienced from 2020 and 2021. So there's still a lot of information. Uh, and the reason I'm sh sharing some recent stuff now is because like, it's so interesting. I'm like, I can't believe this stuff is ha happening, but um, I thought I'd share some of the newer stuff mixed in with the, uh, you know, some of the older stuff. All right. So thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.